Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the Dr. Second Chance channel, your go-to destination for delving into the complex world of criminal psychology. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Second Chance, and I'm excited to have you join us on today's riveting journey into the minds of some of history's most notorious figures. Before we dive in, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on our deep explorations into the human psyche. If you enjoy today's content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and let us know which cases you'd like us to dissect in future videos. Alright, let's not waste any time. Today, we're unraveling the gripping case studies of three infamous serial killers, Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, and Aileen Warnos. We're not just scratching the surface, we're delving deep into their backgrounds, actions, and the intricate layers of their psychological profiles. Section 1, Ted Bundy Our journey begins with the chilling tale of Ted Bundy, a name synonymous with the darkest corners of criminal history. Born in 1946, Bundy's early life was marked by instability, with an absent father figure and a strained relationship with his stepfather. Bundy's academic brilliance and charming demeanor served as a facade, masking the brewing darkness within. When it comes to his actions, Bundy's crimes unfolded in a horrifying sequence, beginning with his early abductions and escalating to a spree that spanned multiple states. His modus operandi involved feigning injuries, using fake casts to gain sympathy and lower his victim's guard. Unraveling Bundy's psychological profile reveals a man with a grandiose sense of self-worth, and an uncanny ability to manipulate those around him. The role of Bundy's tumultuous relationships and his struggle with his own identity played a significant part in the development of his violent tendencies. Section 2, John Wayne Gacy Moving on to John Wayne Gacy, a man who hid behind a sinister clown persona. Gacy, known as the Killer Clown, was convicted of heinous acts that shook the community to its core. Gacy's childhood was marked by an abusive father, creating an environment of fear and instability. Despite the trauma, Gacy managed to establish himself as a successful businessman and a seemingly active member of his community, even performing at children's parties as Poco the Clown. When it comes to his actions, Gacy's crimes were both methodical and depraved, with victims lured by promises of work or money. The horrifying discovery of bodies buried beneath his home and the nearby river revealed the extent of Gacy's brutality. Gacy's psychological profile unveils a complex figure, blending manipulation, predatory behavior and a desire for control. The influence of his troubled relationship with his father and the creation of his clown persona as a mask for his dark inclinations play a crucial role in understanding his actions. Section 3, Aileen Warnos Our final case study introduces Aileen Warnos, a woman who defied the stereotype of serial killers. Born in 1956, Warnos' life was a tragic tale of hardship and trauma. Warnos' early life was marred by abandonment, abuse, and a troubled family background. Her adulthood was characterized by a transient lifestyle, criminal activities, and an inability to break free from the cycle of poverty and violence. In terms of her actions, Warnos's crimes were a desperate response to a life filled with hardship, leading to the murders of seven men. The circumstances surrounding each crime and the socioeconomic factors that influenced her descent into violence provide a complex backdrop to her actions. Warnos's psychological profile offers insights into her claims of self-defense, mental illness, and the impact of a traumatic past. Understanding the interplay of her troubled upbringing and the challenges she faced sheds light on the psychology behind her actions. Conclusion these case studies provide a stark glimpse into the minds of individuals who committed horrifying acts. As we continue this series, we'll further explore the intricacies of criminal psychology. If there's a specific case or theme you'd like us to cover, drop your suggestions in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this intense journey. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit that bell for more content. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.